All right, so starting a match, Mooch coming back immediately. Uh, this is winner's quarters. The winner of the set will move on to winner's semis, and that will be a best of five set, most likely, when something goes horribly wrong with our brackets, which I doubt it. <laughs> Really good catches from Insect when he's uh, when Mooch is right above him on the ledge. Very good use of Nair and Up Air. Doing really good use of the uh, of the of the Pokemon swap to use even ability frames. It does technically have slightly more ability frames than Air Dodge, and he didn't realize he didn't have a jump. Unfortunate. I'm not sure if he was trying to jump that whole time. I didn't realize that he uh, couldn't. He'd already done his second dead jump. Ooh, wow, and a crazy waterfall. And like, super deep to, to get a good amount of damage and take stage control. Uh, but Insects managing to get back on, pushing Mooch off the stage now. In a very well-timed get-up to, uh, to avoid the explosive flame. And just like that, we're back on the stage. Uh, Mooch holding center very well, looking for that opportunity, not overextending. Uh, Insect doing great teleport cancels, being very careful. Uh, he was definitely looking for Mooch to, ooh, to overextend there. A little slow on the punish. Ooh, <laughs> double down there, dude. But only one worked, and that was Mooch. Mooch came out on top there. And Mooch getting some good damage with Ivysaur Vine Whip for barely uh, whiffing the up air. That would have definitely led to two more right there. Oh! Going for a more safe option, it looks like. Uh, number of times that Insect has uh, done the far explosive flames on stream thus far. It's been kind of high, unfortunately. Uh, it's very easy to it's very easy to miss and put it and uh, do the super and do the smash input of the explosive flame. So you got to be very careful, especially when you have your opponent standing at mid range like that, because it can cost you a stock very easily. Because explosive flame is very laggy overall. Oh, and a great four there from Mooch. A totally fresh move taking out Alatana. She's not super heavy, so it's a good way to end the stock. Alright, Mooch holding the lead now. Very doing a very good job of come, uh, bringing these back, and not really allowing Insect to kind of dictate the, uh, the pace of the match, which is extremely important to do, especially when you're fighting Palus. Palutena is really good at uh, at doing damage, and uh, if you go into a tempo, it's very easy to get caught up in it and lose stocks for making tiny mistakes. Alright, good uh, good flamethrower. Do a little bit of damage, not as strong as a. Oh! He went for the Nair confirm! Oh, and a great up smash to call out the jump from the ledge! Insect taking the second stock away from Mooch, but he's at that. He's at a point where it's really dangerous and a. Wow, that was a really good uh, down air to up smash. It's a forward smash. Just like that, uh, Insect bringing it back for the most part. He's got to be super careful though. Ivysaur does have an impressive amount of kill power. The choice not to go Charizard, very respectable. Ivysaur has been doing some great work for Mooch, but you can expect Charizard to come out once he gets above 100. Right, there he goes. Right, Charizard is on the scene. He's back in the stage. Why would you do explosive play in the point blank range? Like asking to die. It was so dangerous. Why would you do that?
All right, so Mooch taking a, really turning that around overall. Like, incredible job. All right, so we're going into town and city. Uh, let's see where, hey puppy, hey doggy. Sorry guys, I have a dog next to me, I gotta pat her. Follow me on Twitter for dog pics, twitter.com slash the underscore helper, if you wanna see dog pics. As I have the best little dog in the world. Oh, good dog. All right, so the match. So we're going to uh, town and city. Both of the characters stay in the same, respect it. I don't feel like either of them were necessarily playing that bad. Uh, so one thing I want to see from Insect is smarter use of his explosive planes. He kept doing them at ranges that were incredibly unsafe, and Mooch caught onto it at the end and did the punish that would have got that won him the match. Oh, really good use of a uh, back air into dash attack to get some damage, get Mooch to the air, but Mooch managing to get back down pretty well. Yeah, Insect, uh, instead of going for the teleport cancel, he just went straight up to the center of the stage. I guess expecting the water gun to come out, he did the, the correct thing there. And now both of them are just kind of looking for the chance to play neutral, and just trying to open each other up. But with not that much success, but Insect doing a really, not a great off theoretical at very close range, is very dangerous. And Mooch hoping Lightning will strike again, and that Insect will tech in place, but Insect teching through him. And there's <laughs> so much stuff happening so quickly. <laughs> um, yeah, Insect getting a great explosive flame on Mooch off stage. Oh, dog, please, not on my headphone cable. I love you so much, but not on my headphone cable. Stop over here. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. I had a bit of a uh, technological issue. All right, uh, Insect is at up throw kill percent and forward throw kill percent for, or forward air kill percent from across the stage. Jeez, dude. You know what? Charizard may be heavy, but he is not far behind. If Insect plays this right, it's going to be a quick stock for him. Ooh, a really good back air to punish the air dodge into the platform. Very nice. And that should be the stock. So that forward air was like, just like a skosh too weak, like just a little bit it feels like. You could've, it feels like you could've survived that, I don't know. I just, I, I don't know why I didn't just go for back, for our back air. <laughs> oh, very good use of the, uh, the dash attack to open up Mooch. Mooch had a bit of a disadvantage here right now, he's actually opening him up, he's like just opening him up super well. All right, good. That was actually a really good use of the uh, of jumping off, jumping back on to try to catch something, but not overcommitting. That feels like that's something that Mooch has really been uh, benefiting from this whole set thus far. It is people overcommitting on him? But Insect is doing a good job. He's keeping stage. Oh, but he's getting hit. You gotta be a little more careful than that. And again, Palutena Affair coming in clutch, dude, what? Palutena Affair has been like, clo has closed both of uh, the stocks out for, uh, for Insect so far, and it's been doing wonders for him. Even a move they don't normally think is a kill move can be extremely powerful when you don't use it, when you use it in those kind of situations. Whether it's because uh, it isn't expected to kill just because it's uh, there, so it's like, yeah, I can hold out and most likely be fine, or it's just like the element of surprise and it's just fresh. Uh, but two fair kills in one match are really surprising, especially like when it's not in the super light thing. All right, Mooch taking those big hits. He's got to get back on the stage. He's got to assert, assert stage control. And a really good swap. Oh, but Mooch barely whiffing the back air. Not necessarily going to kill at uh, 80% from mid stage, even with the sweet spot. But not a good situation. And all of his kill moves, one by one, are getting exhausted. Do I see Charizard clear? Oh. Very nice. Very uh, difficult to punish Palutena in that position. You can see that Mooch is kind of looking for something. Some kind of punish that he can get. And a fair from across the stage, not quite enough, but Insect's messing up his recovery. 
And just like that, Mooch is in it. He can try to bring this back and hopefully finish his 2-0. Uh, but Insect is trying super hard. He's looking for those hits. And that's like the fourth uh, Charizard there that's whipped so far. Alright, Mooch is not quite in a bad position yet, but he needs to be very careful with how he recovers. Oh man, he almost fell right into that. That's one of the scariest positions to be in, is uh, when Palutena has you at the ledge, and she's just using her uh, her pretty low lag uh, landing moves to kind of scare you into hopefully making a mistake, and that's gonna be it. Wow. Okay, if you're going for the three P on the fair, bro, don't. Why did it just back here? <laughs> Oh, that's it. That's death. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you go for the three-peat on the fair kill? From that stage, no less. What? <laughs> I don't have friggin' words, man. Palutena jab, a pretty strong jab, uh, not a kill move by any stretch of the imagination, but it is uh, strong enough. It is good, strong enough to finish the game at like on a character at 190 from like almost from almost the edge. So you know, good enough. <laughs> best of three or best of five? Three. This is quarters. Ready? So they're still. Oh, it's one one. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I thought the set was over for a moment. Oh, okay. Yeah, you would have thought from the beginning of the first set. Alright. Alright, so Mooch taking us to Yoshi's Island. Clearly a comfort pick for him because he did it against uh, Seabass and was returning the set around for him. But this time Mooch is coming from an even, an even situation where he is uh, he's 1-1 and whoever loses this game, that's it. Out to losers. Taking a one-way trip. The other person will be going to winner's semis. Really good teleport cancel from Insect. Mooch doing a good job keeping uh, Insect at uh, kind of at arm's length. Very important in this matchup. Uh, Palutena really has some pretty decent out of shield options. But none of them are too incredible besides to grab. Oh man, you gotta be careful though. Oh, oh good read on the swap! Insect reading that swap 100%, just waiting to see what, what, uh, what Mooch is gonna do. And rewarded very heavily for his patience. And yet, even though the uh, the ledges of Yoshi Island are a little bit lower, that's not going to stop him from getting hit by the last. If it spills a he grab like that. I don't really understand why uh, Insect's favorite punish for, uh, for Charizard Flare Blitz is Void Air, but alright. I mean, it's working for him. So I respect it, yeah. A really good uh, up throw from Mooch to finish off the first stock for Insect. He's at a bit of a deficit. He's got to be really smart about you pushing the next stock if he wants to take this match. But Insect is not giving him the opportunity to come back onto the stage. Really good pressure. And each time that he manages to take center stage, Insect just rolls up and just hit, just whacks him in the head. And again, the platform is really benefiting Insect. Uh, Mooch, unfortunately, not seeing as much of a, of a pause 
from this stage pick as a uh, as insect cap. Oh, and, uh, kind of a uh, poor recover, a poor up B there, but you didn't end up meaning that much. But Mooch managing to kind of bring this back. One more good hit, and that will be the the second stock gone. But Insect is gonna try, is obviously trying to slow down the game a little bit, trying to uh, to see if he can get some safe damage, which is honestly his number one concern at the moment. Oh, very good uh, Razor Leaf by Mooch. He's not trying to force his way in, he's trying to create an opening by creating a little bit of impatience, but he just, ah, he's just smacking the face when he runs in like that. A very interesting use of a. Uh, Jeez, that's. a combination of not so great DI plus a super fresh move, getting the kill for, uh, for Mooch there. And Insect uh, finally down on his last stock with a 90% deficit to make up. It's not going to be easy. And hello, Dara. How are you hello. doing? Good evening. Uh, I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing okay. Uh, I can turn on the video in a second. I'm going to finish this match. Sounds good. Thanks oh, for no, coming. Up. Oh, yeah. So this is Mooch and Insect. I don't think I've heard of these two players before. Yeah, I believe Mooch is from uh, PA. I'm not really sure where it's from, but they've both been doing really good this uh, this morning. Huh. Oh gosh, no, is Mooch dead? All right, not falling for the uh, for the ledge for Palatine at the ledge. He's really starting to fish for the back end. He's trying to steal the stock a little bit early right now, but Palatine at ledge. This is definitely the stock to oh! take. Dude, that's like the third fan of the set that's killed. What is this? I mean, he's heavyweight. Can you really do much in that scenario? Like, what else could he have done? Besides, like, don't get grabbed. Tee hee. You know? Yeah, I guess. Alright, but that's the set. Insect taking it, uh, 2 1. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. I think, uh, UBL wants to join. He's in the casting waiting channel. Oh, is he? I mean, there's space. You just walk in. There's definitely, like, is there a limit on this? On this? Uh, yeah, there's it's a limit of four. You can definitely yeah. just pop in. Oh, when just ready. Go, I'm gonna go tell him to pop in, okay? Alright, that's it. That's okay. Go for it. Alright guys, if you've been enjoying the show, please make sure to uh, like, subscribe, uh, favorites, follow, uh, stock, house of three thousand and all of our things. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Our branding is all the same everywhere. Ah Also if you uh, if you really enjoy the action, we do this every Wednesday, so please make sure to tune in. Uh, next up, we're going to have Mousetrat versus Zaffro. Zaffro's a Long Island player. Mousetrat in New York. That's... Where's Mousetrat from? Do you guys... Mousetrat, know? So Mousetrat, even though he really frequents uh, New York tournaments, he, he does 